Cardinal Vincent, we've got the Holy Father in the Holy Land from the 24th to the 26th of May. Uh, how significant would you say this visit is to the region, a region we're obviously very interested in? Well, I think it's hugely significant. There's no doubt that Pope Francis is a world leader and what he will bring to the region, to the countries he's visiting, is not just the strength of his presence, but the strength of his faith and that openness that he has to draw people to realise that everything about our human living, everything about our political struggles is open to God. And if we appeal to God, if we turn to God, if we genuinely want to follow God's ways, then that's our best way of finding peace. So I think in that sense, he is a bringer of peace and a maker of peace into a region which so earnestly and desperately needs peace. And that's something that we'll be praying for as well, isn't it, during the visit, and particularly during the period of time where Pope Francis is in Bethlehem. Tell us a bit about that. Well, we are appealing uh, every Catholic bishop in this country to Catholics to gather in prayer before the Blessed Sacrament from three o'clock to four o'clock on Sunday the 25th of May. That's exactly the time when Pope Francis will be in Bethlehem, when he'll be meeting with the Christians of Bethlehem. And I've been very pleased at the response that we've had so far to that invitation. I think people see the resonance of being in support of Pope Francis at that exact time. And it's also very pleasing that I learned the other day that many of the bishops of the Church of England are asking the members of the Church of England, the Anglicans among us, to pray as well. So this is becoming an important ecumenical moment when just as we are united in our love of the Lord and in our love of the Holy Land, so too we can be united in these moments of prayer. And this is very important as well, isn't it, for the Bishops Conference. We've, uh, I think since 1998, organised what we call the Holy Land Coordination, the meeting, uh, the international meeting of bishops in that region of Christ's birth, death and ministry. Is it something you think that the other bishops will be looking upon with great interest? Well, we do, and we talked about it at our recent meeting in Leeds, and we agreed to take a common approach to this invitation to prayer to all Catholics. And yes, the bishops of England and Wales are very proud to have this lead role in the coordination of the annual visit of bishops from different parts of the Catholic world to the Holy Land. And they go each year, they go to study the situation, they go to express solidarity for the different groups of people there in their distress and anxiety. and in the same manner as Pope Francis, to bring a word of peace and encouragement. And finally, Cardinal Vincent, um, you mentioned ecumenism before. Uh, there's a very significant aspect, maybe the principal aspect of this visit, which is to sort of echo the, the 50th anniversary of the meeting between Pope Paul VI and the Patriarch of Constantinople of the time. Um, and of course, Pope Francis will meet Patriarch Bartholomew. How significant is that, do you think, in terms of our unity with other Christians? Well, it is. It's very significant. And it's significant that he's chosen to do that in the Holy Land. And of course, it's also hugely significant that travelling with the Holy Father is one of the Jewish leaders from Argentina, somebody that he knows extremely well. And so immediately, in every gesture that he makes, Pope Francis is looking for a deeper understanding between the great faiths that live in that region, particularly between the Christian faiths and the Christian faith and the Jewish faith. And these are such an important factor in the peace that we all long for. Colonel Vincent Nichols, we shall pray for a successful visit for the Holy Father and thank you for your time. Thank you.